This attachment is insanely overpowered for close quarter sniping here in Modern Warfare 3. The Death Door variant of the SZ Holotherm highlights your enemies in a brighter red outline than the basic Holotherm, making it incredibly easy to track your target. Check it out. Did that stack? I hope that stacked. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little collateral. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just bodied it. No shot. I didn't even realize I had the three heads up. Oh my god. What's going on guys, it's Rage, and once again, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. Really hope you guys enjoyed this clip at the start of the video. So, before we go ahead and jump into this, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my man Raw Chai, because I saw that he was the one using this class on his live stream, and I figured, I want to give this a go. I feel like his class was a little bit different, because I remember he had some sort of a suppressor on for the muzzle, but this is the loadout that I have on for it. You can definitely change out the 10 round mag, I just have the 10 round mag on, because this is not like an overkill sniping class, so if you're running two snipers, you could probably just get rid of the 10 round mag in place of something else. Here on the XRK Stalker, Handler LKP Short Barrel, the armor piercing rounds are a complete necessity for collaterals. No joke, those three triples that I had in the intro were all hit last night. 10 round magazine once again, XRK Stalker Light Bolt, and the main attachment that I wanted to focus on, the SZ Holotherm. Now the thing about the SZ Holotherm is that again, it is specifically the Death's Door variant of it, which comes from the Dark Rituals 3 pack. The biggest thing that sets it apart is the reticle, which as you guys notice on every other variant of the SZ Holotherm, there's like this orange hue to it, but not here with the Death's Door variant. You guys may have already noticed it in the intro clips, but the thing is with this variant specifically is that it will outline your enemies in red. It outlines your enemies in red and it makes the player model just this pitch black silhouette, making it super easy to see. As compared to if I were to throw on really any other variant of it here with this orange hue, the enemies are outlined in this yellowish orange kind of look to it. Now, I did try to put smoke grenades on this class so I could show it here in the firing range, but I do have this one clip on a state. When you're looking at the enemies through the smoke, it is so easy easy to spot them. So yeah, I just wanted to jump back into some 10v10, snipe with it a little bit, and also recently I had talked about this in uh, some previous videos, but I did get caught up on all of the aftermarket parts in this game. I did also want to talk about this. I know everyone's favorite sniper in the game, the longbow. So this week we also had a brand new Walking Dead event. This is the uh, mastery reward camo that you get for it, little barbed wire thing. The aftermarket part for this week is the Jack Glassless Optic, to which real quick I'll go ahead and show you guys this. It's pretty much the Advanced Warfare ELO site from back in the day, and honestly, it's really nice. Also makes just for another their ridiculous close quarter sniping attachment. I'm definitely not too big on kill confirmed invasion, and we got rangers. Oh, I'm probably gonna leave, but looking at this lobby, I, I kind of want to stay. I already know exactly what this match is gonna entail. I'm just gonna sit here and spawn in the back palace all game long. No one really lined up for the spawn shot either. I'm so sad. Actually, here, while I'm thinking about it, I've just went ahead and put smoke grenades on, so what I'm gonna try doing is throw a smoke at somebody and just show you the outline once again. Hold on, there's someone right here. See what I mean? Dude, it is ridiculous. I know it's kind of cheesy to say, but with the way that the outline looks, it almost looks like it's like free ESP. Oh my god, yo, they almost lined up for a nuts triple. You know, I was half tempted to stay in the lobby just because of the levels, but this is getting annoying. I feel like I have to mention this every single time I play on Invasion. Like, this map, if you're not playing it in Hardpoint or really Search and Destroy, basically Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirm, the main respawn modes, it's almost just not worth playing because you just keep spawning in the exact same spot. I'm gonna skip this kill cam and spawn right in the back of the palace. Every time! It's so frustrating, man. Like, please spawn me in a different area. I'm telling myself right now, I'm not gonna sit here just consistently yap about this because I've done it all the time, but I find it so ironic that Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed have the stickier spawns, where Domination should be the one with the sticky spawns. It's not even just a thing here specifically with Modern Warfare 3. Like, this has just been a thing since Modern Warfare 2019. Oh my god, we actually got a spawn flip. Ain't no way. Hold up. Now, this is where Invasion could start to have some potential because if you're on Op 4 side of the map and you're looking over on this side towards the palace, that's when you can really start holding the spawn trap over here. What the? This is next level. The dude was sitting on top of the vending machine. Yeah, this lobby was literally not worth staying in at all. No, no shot. Yeah, there we go. Term Dom retweet. I 
I didn't collapse that? What? Come on, man. Just let me look into the plane and hit a quad. I... Why? I feel like almost everyone on this game has a turn plane quad with the way that the spawns work now. Everyone's got a quad, triple head, looking into the plane. And every time that I look at it, nah, I instantly get fried off of it. Case in point. I feel like such a rat doing this in the smoke. I'm now starting to get the Black Ops Cold War PTSD where people would sit in the smoke with uh, thermal barrets. Like, I, I see why people do it. Doesn't make it any less ratty or any less obnoxious, but I, I understand. I do get it. All right, relax, brother. It's just pubs. We're not competing for anything here. It's just ridiculous. Man, I miss that feeling so much of just rounding the corner on Terminal A and there's just no one there. I was just about to say too, like, imagine I finally get that opportunity right here at the end of the game. Relatively uneventful term dom game. I was just checking Twitter and apparently now we got the confirmation for a Warhammer 40k collab with Call of Duty. Also, Modern Warfare 3 Warzone Season 2 Reloaded should begin on March 6th, so on Wednesday. Based on the Battle Pass timer, we'll feature DOS House 6v6, the two remakes. It's good timing too, because I was just wondering when the Season Reloaded was about to begin. His mom's a hoe, huh? Hey, man, I'm sure his mom's a nice lady. Don't say that. No! Finally had the collab, was ready to look at the hard point. Could have had a potential five on right there. All right, never mind. As I was saying, though, I think with the season reloaded update, we're supposed to get a new battle rifle in the game. I think that's the only new weapon coming at the midseason. Or I think the swords as well. We haven't got the swords yet, have we? Truly, to be completely honest, ever since I finished Grand Mastery, I still haven't even, like, gone back and finished the uh, DLC weapons yet. I still don't know if I'm really gonna go through all the way and just do all the... Like, I feel like I should. I may as well. But I kind of just want to do that at the start of season three so my XP doesn't get wasted. It's such a nerdy thing to say. I don't want to waste any XP, you feel me? The thing is, though, at the same time, I'm enjoying this multiplayer so much. Like, I'm still getting on and playing, not just for streaming, not just for recording videos. Like, I'm actually sitting here playing the MW3 multiplayer and sniping because I enjoy it so much. And I feel like it was a little bit different with Modern Warfare 22 last year, where I kind of enjoyed the multiplayer. Like, I thought it was decent. It had its moments where it was really fun to snipe in, but that was, like, the main goal was Grand Mastery. And then once I did that, that was, like, mostly the reason why I played that game's multiplayer. And then they dropped the intervention, and it made it a little bit more worth to play, but we all know how Modern Warfare 22 played out. The more I have moments like that, the more I really do realize, yeah, I see why people did this in Cold War. <laughs> I almost feel kind of gross doing this. You know, I don't really know how well using the scope is going to go over on a map like Derail, but I'm with it. Let's go. No, 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 no. Bruh. I didn't have the chance to, like, actually plant my tack down here again. Had to run all the way across the map. Finally get back over to Sea Flag, and the game's over. Right here, right now. So tragic. I definitely could have had a good opportunity there. Dude, how is, like, 80% of the lobby not hitting 10 kills? Guys, what are we doing? I don't know if this is going to be a controversial or a hot take, but that that is a problem. I feel like a really big part of the reason as to why a lot of these maps feel like they play differently. Like, yes, the spawns and the movement are different, but it seems like people are so scared to move. Like, I, I don't get it. It. Just run. It's respawn multiplayer. Go. This was justice. Bro, what? Oh, he spawned there. I mean, that's fine. I just wish I saw him on the UAV, but whatever. Oh, they're spawning back there. Hello. Okay, hi, how are you? That dude's just spawning in this corner over here. What are you doing? Move! Oh my god, 27, 29, 30. Top person on their team didn't even break 10 kills. That's just, yeah, that's that's bullying right there. Yeah, I think on that note, I'm done. I mean, you guys see the holotherm on this. It's just ridiculous. It's been a lot of fun to use, but maybe there's just something weird about me. Maybe I'm just too lost in my ways of wanting to use like regular sniper scopes, but every time I've tried this whole like red dot sniping or holographic, you know, basically any magnet that's less than a COD 4 ACOG scope. I just can't do it. Full-blown skill issue on my part, but I mean, hey, the Holotherm is kind of fun to use. So if you guys want to check that out, there you guys go. Now you know. Again, though, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.